Namaste bitch, how are you? I want to know and today we are talking about pests here in Australia. So let's begin. Hello, it's always a pleasure talking to you. And today I want to talk to you about something that makes me feel very annoyed and also very sad because there's a few things that happens here in Australia that I really do not understand. Look, I'm not here to say bad things about Australia because I love this country. But of course, as a country, we have lots of problems like we have lots of good things happening here. But at this time, I'm going to talk about something that I don't understand, really. First of all, pests. I am from Brazil, I'm from a city called São Paulo, and of course I have pests there, like everywhere in the world. But my first impression when I had arrived here in Australia was like, what is this? Because it's incredible how many spiders you see everywhere, every time, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you are walking in the street and you just feel something like this because there's a web between the street and a tree. So you see this all the time. You see everywhere, it doesn't matter what happened. If people say that's not true, that's not true. If people say that's not true. Because as a Brazilian, I can see spiders all the time in the city. Every day, it doesn't matter. Every day I'll see a spider. And more than this, when you see flies, when you see cockroaches, especially in the summer, ants, it's incredible. Uh, you cannot tell, ah, but it's the place that you live. That's not true, because I live in Sydney. Everywhere that you go, you can see these things. I work in a place on the 23rd floor, and I can see spider outside the building. I can see web. So these things happen even in the city, in downtown. But anyway, recently I was reading one article in Portuguese, in my first language, and I was quite surprised because I didn't know why I didn't know about this here in Australia. I have the feeling that something was happening, but they didn't say anything. I don't know why this kind of thing that I'm going to talk to you, it wasn't everywhere. It was a kind of secret, you know? Maybe if they put somewhere, it was something that nobody could read or nobody could watch or whatever. I will show you, I'm here with my laptop. And here you can see one article in Portuguese that says Why the Australian government killed 700 koalas in secret? Is what they wrote in Portuguese. So basically I was reading this article and say that the Victoria government between 2013 and 2014 they killed 689 koalas in one place called Ottawa, is more or less 230 kilometers from Melbourne. They say that they took all these animals, they gave um, a special kind of medicine, so they were kind of sleeping. After this, they killed the animals, so it wasn't something like barbarian, you know, shooting, no, not these things. It was something with no violence, so the animals couldn't feel anything. But they made this to try to stop the superpopulation of these animals in that area. And here in this article they say that this is a really real problem and very old problem here from Australia. Of course they also say that the government tried to take a few population of these animals and another animals in some kind of areas, bring to another areas, and in this way they try to fix this huge problem. But it's not working. So the solution was kill these animals. Why? The reason that they have done this, it didn't convince people that defend animals here in Australia. There's one foundation called Australian Koala. They say that the problem with the superpopulation is because the government couldn't deal with this real problem. And one more thing, when they killed all these animals, they didn't say absolutely nothing, they just killed. And after this, they was talking with these ambientalists and all these people responsible for looking after these kind of animals. And of course, they didn't accept it very well, because this is not the way. You don't kill and after say, look, I killed. You just say, look, we need to do this, what can you do? Because when you know the problem, both sides can talk and 
after arguing with each other, they can realize, okay, what is the best option for this case? But this thing did not happen. And because they are fighting with each other, the government promised that if they need to kill another animals in the future, they are not going to do this in secret and they are going to talk with these people responsible for protecting these animals. It's a kind of company, but I don't know the name. The government say that the koala is not in extinction, so it's not like everybody think, ah, oh, they are going to, to finish. No, there's too much. I don't know if this is true, but this is what they say. And in the same way, this is quite funny, because in the East Australia, they are vulnerable. So, if they are vulnerable, it means that there's something wrong. But in the South, there's too much. So why don't bring these animals from the South to another area in Australia, even far? Anyway, it, this is the thing that I don't understand. And also they say that in this place they were having problems with food, so they are going to die because they have nothing to eat. So it's really something confused. But if you think this is the only problem, there's much more. In 2013 as well, Australia began an operation to kill more than 10 thousand of wild horse. It's unbelievable. Anyway, one more time I was reading this article in Portuguese because we couldn't see anything in English here. If it was, it was somewhere that nobody could see. But what the government was saying is that in this area that they have this kind of wild animal, they have nothing to eat as well. So they are going to die because they don't eat. And if they die close to place that there's river, there's lots of contamination, so there's nothing to do. But to kill an animal like this is not just taking all of them, giving something to make them sleep, and after kill them. Because this is not a small animal like a koala. So they had to use a helicopter and shoot those animals from there. This is quite revolting, don't you think? Because they had nothing to eat. It's something that is difficult to understand, it's difficult to accept, but these problems you can see here a few times. And to be honest, I don't like this kind of thing that happens here in Australia. I know that I'm not a person that understands these kind of problems, but I understand what is cruel and what is not cruel. I understand that there's a few things that is a real pest, like cockroaches, spiders and all these things, and these make us feel disgusted. But when you have to kill animals like koala and horses, things change a lot. I uh, don't tell me, ah, but okay, so it's okay kill a cockroach, but it's not right kill a koala. For me, it's not right, okay? A cockroach is just a cockroach. I cannot see a cockroach as an animal. I don't know if I'm wrong, I don't know if I'm right, but it's the way that I see. But these things happened here in Australia and I really hope that we can know if this is necessary to do again in the future because it could be good if we could have the possibility to vote or do something or a petition or whatever to ask to Australian government to try another way to save these animals. Do you think that Q is the best possibility? I don't know, that's the reason I'm talking to you. I'm so sorry if you couldn't understand me very well. I always say here that English is not my first language, so I do the best that I can to talk to you. And if you have any question or if you couldn't understand something, please write here below and we can try to begin a conversation and another people can help me answering you and we can try to see a better possibility for this kind of problems. What do you think? So that's it. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and I hope to see you very soon in another video. Namaste, bitch. Ciao.